What's up guys? Today we are gonna make some pork belly and we are gonna roast it low and slow in the oven to get a super melted interior uh, and then broil at a high heat to get a crispy exterior. So the first thing you're gonna do is season it up with salt, pepper, and lemongrass seasoning and then we're gonna make this fun little aluminum foil boat to try and uh, hold in all the fat and juices as we're roasting it. So you'll just bend the sides up here like I'm showing, and then fold up the ends as well. And then you'll create this little boat that'll contain all the juices. And this is so that as uh, as you're roasting the pork belly and it's excreting all those juices, it'll stay cooking in, in its own juice. And so it'll stay nice and moist. So just fold those down just to make it easier to hold. I uh, throw it on a pan just in case it spills, and then we're throwing it in the oven. Next, uh, I'm gonna work on a side salad that I'm gonna be adding with this. So I'm gonna be making a homemade shallot vinaigrette. And so the first things first is we add in a lot of shallots, like a lot. Um, actually, maybe it just feels like a lot because we ended up chopping them down a good bit. But take your shallots and you dice them up really fine. And so the way that I've been doing this, I've seen this like really fun uh, method uh, on some some channels of people who are way better at cooking than I am, where they first julienne the shallot and then they dice it down really fine to get a really, really fine dice. So that's how I'm trying to do it here for the dressing. Then next, uh, we're gonna be chopping up some romaine lettuce and I realized after I chopped it that I added it to the bowl with the shallots and you don't wanna do that because the lettuce is for the base of our salad and the shallots are for the dressing. So we wanna keep those separate until we add them at the end. Next, I'm cutting off the ribs and the spines of the kale because that gets that really tough texture that we don't really want in our salad. There are a couple pieces I'm pulling off because I might wanna use for plating later at the end. But then we chop up the rest of the kale and you can kind of feel it out how much you want. And then lastly, we're gonna be adding some red cabbage to the base. So chop up whatever feels good to you, whatever feels right. Next, we're gonna be adding in some cheese. So I chose an aged cheddar and we're gonna cut it up into little cubes like I'm showing here. And then I just set it aside um, because I, I wait to add everything together uh, until the end and we're ready to serve because I don't want all the juices of everything to make the lettuce all soggy. So now we're going back to the dressing and we're gonna be adding in some olive oil. I forgot to film it here, but we're also adding in a bit of Dijon mustard. So add all that to the dressing. And then next we're gonna be taking the zest off of a lemon. Just save the zest for later because we're gonna use it at the end for plating, but then squeeze out the lemon juice and we're gonna add that to the mixture as well. Next, since we've basically finished up our dressing uh, and done all the prep work for our salad, I just took a minute to watch some Modern Family uh, because this thing was in the oven for like two and a half hours. So really caught up on a lot of episodes there, but then pulling it out, you can see it's starting uh, to get really nice and juicy. So it shrunk a good bit too because it, we had originally made our boat up flush with the edges of the pork belly and you can see that on the left side it's shrunk a good bit since being there in the oven. So what I'm doing here is I'm just removing it from the tin foil boat uh, and then discarding the rest of that oil. I let it solidify on the side before throwing it away. Don't pour your oil down the drain. And then putting it back in the oven at a higher temperature for about 15 minutes or so to get that nice crispy top. You can see there it's starting to bubble up even. Next we're gonna add our dressing to our base of kale, romaine, and cabbage and then our cheese. And then I also chose to uh, crush some walnuts and add them in for a little bit of extra crunch. So then we're gonna toss and make sure everything is nice and well coated. One of the things I really like about this salad is that it's got so many different colors in it that I feel like it looks really pretty on a plate. So now I'm just trying to plate everything. Um, I had those two leaves of kale from earlier that I'm trying to organize. Um, I've been getting into trying to figure out like what's the best way to aesthetically plate food, at, but like at this point, I'm still very much trying to figure it out. I don't really know, you know, any theory behind it or how to do it. I'm just kind of messing around and seeing what works. Um, so hopefully this worked. I kind of left that awkward gap in between the two, uh, but when you tilt it this way, you can't really see that gap, so I don't think it looks as bad from this angle. And then using that last leftover lemon zest from earlier, I just sprinkled it over the pork belly and the kale bed um, for a nice little bit of added color. And then from there, here's a close-up of the pork belly. And 
This is honestly so tasty. Uh, and you can see here, my first bite, I tried to just cut into it. Once you got through that crispy exterior, the inside was literally just melted. It was so good.